y'all, it's Lauren. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I have my lovely husband Matt here with me, and I have gotten him to agree to do a Brew Buddies episode with me. Yay! Um, we're going to do Palette Wrecker by Green Flash, and um, we did a little bit of research on it, and because on the bottle it says it's a Hamilton's Ale, and I was like, <laughs> I don't know what that is at all. never heard of it. Um, but it's apparently it's like a double... Um, or Imperial IPA because it is 9.5% alcohol um, and the name Palette Wrecker just kind of strikes mild fear into my heart mm -hmm. just a little bit. <laughs> 100 plus IBUs. Yeah. They call it a Hamilton's Ale because it's the second, celebrating the second anniversary of Hamilton. I'm guessing that's a, a town or a something. A town or something, yeah. Hamilton's Tavern. Palette Wrecker was originally brewed for the Hamilton's Tavern second anniversary. Oh, so Hamilton's Tavern must be some spot down there in San Diego. Never but, heard of it. Yeah, well, I mean, we're not from California, <laughs> so. Anyways. Um, so, yeah, like I said, 9.5% alcohol. And I did Green Flash yesterday also with the Road Warrior. Um, so, if you didn't watch my video from yesterday, Green Flash Brewing is located in San Diego, California. I'm going to go ahead and pop it so we can taste it. Yeah. Green Flash was actually one of the first breweries to actually strike my fancy as a craft beer lover. Yeah, with that, that Grand Crew. Grand Crew. crew. <laughs> I amazing. told them about that yesterday. Did you? Yeah. About the Grand Crew? Yeah. You want to pour mine too? Sure. You're so sweet. Look, 10% battery remaining. Oh, that's okay. It's like an hour. <laughs> smells good. Mm -hmm. I'm like a foot away from it and I can smell it. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so I poured mine a little bit more aggressively, so I've got a little bit of a bigger head than Matt. Um, not physically, just <laughs> in the beer. <laughs> um, anyways, um, yeah, it's definitely um, very aromatic. Um, very, like, hoppy, citrusy, kind of, like, floral. It's got that malty, boozy yeah, kind of smell you that you smell, don't like. No. <laughs> Oh gosh, I just, I, it's not that I don't like malty flavors, because I do, it's just, I don't like malty when it's super boozy. I feel like it's just too heavy for me, I don't know. It's just, I'm a baby, I guess. Yes, I uh, enjoyed the last episode of her uh, Craft Brew Chick channel. The, uh, what was it called? The, the Rye Road IPA, Warrior. the Road Warrior. I enjoyed it a lot more than she did because yeah. she got that boozy kind of I, taste It's out not of it. that I didn't like I it. I liked it. It was good, but it just not quite my thing. I thought it was delicious. But, but yeah, it this definitely smells even better. This definitely does smell malty, um, but not so much as the Road Warrior for sure. All right, I'm going to taste it. You going to taste it? Mm -hmm. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Very bitter. Oh, I see why they call it palate wrecker. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. I love that. Okay, so there's like the initial thing I'm getting is literally a punch in my face. Yep. Like, whoosh, like <laughs> bitter. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's definitely over 100 IVUs. I mean, that's intense, intense bitterness, and um, I almost I can't more. handle it. And that's pretty. It. That's saying something because I do like bitter beers. Um, that is like, Amazing. I have to say, I think probably the most bitter beer I've ever had. If you were to recommend a beer to somebody that does not like anything hoppy, don't do this beer. No, well, it's not even <laughs> that. It's I mean, it is hoppy. For sure, but there's almost not even quite a flavor at first because it's so bitter. It's just bitter, and then you get then it starts to you know kind of mm -hmm. change, and you can pick up like okay, there's hoppy, citrusy, and malty, alcohol. and lots of alcohol, <laughs> and it's just like it's seriously, I don't golly, it's like I have I ninjas that. like partying in my mouth right now. Like there's so much stuff going on in there. Ninja party, Pun punching and kicking everywhere. Like wrestling with my taste buds. Yeah, at least they're not using swords. Yeah, that would suck. <laughs> mm. I just realized it's a giant spider on our back porch. 
Oh yeah, I keep meaning to put him in the end of the video so people can see what I have to look at every time I do a video out here because it's a pretty big spider. Oh. I mean, he's cool and all, she. and he's not uh, she, a she. It it's not a she. It's not it, very big. That's the she. The she sit on the webs and the males don't. So what do boys eat? Other bugs. How do they get other bugs if they're not in a web? This is a beer channel, not a science channel. Well, then you shouldn't just argue with you. me. It's a she. I'm just telling you. Um, okay, so this beer is like, I mean, there's not a whole lot that I can say about it besides it's like really, really intense and bitter, and then you get a really strong, hoppy, citrusy, um, kind of herbal type of flavor, and then it's, you've got that malty backbone at the end. It's definitely like, would you say, I don't, I don't think I would say full body because the maltiness isn't like overwhelming or overpowering the, the citrusy, hoppy. So mm -hmm. it's probably like medium, like me maybe medium yeah. heavy. Med, med heavy. Yeah, That's it's good. not it's not super heavy, but it's definitely not light. Um, but yeah, we didn't really even talk about what color it is or anything. It's beautiful. It is very pretty. It's um, <laughs> kind of an orangey, um, sort of amber color. You can get light through it. It makes it look really nice. Like when you hold it up to the sun. It. The, I don't know what it is about cameras and stuff but it just not is not it it's, it's not, not doing, doing it, justice. it justice at all and that seems to be the trend with pretty much all my other beer tuber friends for the most part i mean maybe i just need a fancy schmancy camera i don't know yeah. but um yeah it's just not doing it justice because here in person it's much more bright and and colorful and on screen there it looks kind of like brown Anyways. um so i'm gonna give this beer like a 4.5 out of 5 uh I'm going to change and not do the 5 scale. I have a problem doing the 5 scale because I always say 4.5 or 4. So I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. You're not allowed to change my scale. It's not if your you scale, have your it's own mine. Channel, channel, channel. If you have your own channel, you can do whatever you want. This is my channel. I do 5s. Right. I don't like 10 scale because it's just too much. I like 10 because there is so much. Okay. Well, I can do 10. Okay, so 8 out of 10 for Matt. 4.5 out of 5 for me. This is, if you're an experienced craft beer drinker or you really like hoppy, bitter IPAs, this is definitely something that you need to go pick up. Yep. Do you remember how much it, it costs? I don't remember. Yep. It wasn't It wasn't like astronomical. I think it was like maybe like eight ninety nine, wasn't it? I have no idea. I honestly don't remember, but I don't recall it being like, oh god, that's expensive. Um... And it does have an enjoy by date on it, and it's like seven. I can't read the day, the actual like day number seven something fourteen. So I mean we're right around where we need to be, anyways. Where was it? Um, it's on the front here, right there. Uh, yeah. You can't read the middle number at all. Uh, it's like just the top parts yeah. of the numbers. Yeah. So you just take your pick. It doesn't really matter. I mean, it doesn't seem like there's anything wrong with it to me. Nope. So we're obviously Not within the time frame. Um, do you have anything you'd like to add before we sign off? Yep, pretty much summed it up. Alright y'all, well thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again soon with another beer review. Y'all have a good weekend. Bye! Cheers. There's the spider that we were just arguing about, and I believe this, is this an orb spider? Yep. An orb spider. And you see, she's got that cool ziggy zaggy thingy in her web. We have a lot of these things. I really don't know how she got into the screened in porch, but I honestly don't really care because she is pretty much always there. So She kills bugs. She kills bugs. So we'll have to come up with a name. So I'm going to let y'all comment on this video. Tell me what you want me to name this spider. And no freaking Charlotte or something stupid like that. We're not naming her Charlotte because that's dumb. <laughs>